What's going on guys, Cal here with Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be doing an iPhone 5 tips and tricks. There's going to be some hidden features that you probably don't know about that are in the brand new iPhone 5. So now the first one is in Siri, so basically go ahead and open up Siri like so, and then on the right hand side you'll have a little eye. If you tap that, it'll be give you the info screen, which will allow you to see all the different options and stuff that you can say to Siri, like uh, what movies are playing, play a song, and some other stuff that you probably don't know about. Next, if you go to your lock screen, you can swipe up to now unlock the camera, and then go to options, and there's a new option for panorama, which is brand new in iOS 6 and the iPhone 5. Now, what a lot of people also don't know, though, is that once you take your panorama, you can also switch it so that it goes the other way. If you basically just tap that arrow, you can now take a panorama going to the left instead of to the right. Another useful tip is emoji. Now emoji is actually built into the iPhone 5 and iOS 6. Just go to your general keyboard and then scroll down until you find emoji. Now what emoji lets you do is it lets you um, basically type in the text in uh, an email or a text message. Uh, if you go there and you click emoji, you can type in like smiley faces and other cool stuff like that. Next, if you double tap the home button, it'll bring up multitasking, and if you click and hold on the icon, basically it'll allow you to delete it, which allows for more memory in your phone, and basically allow your phone to run faster. Now as a side note, you can also tap two of them at the same time with two fingers to get rid of them faster. Now if you go into general, in settings, and then scroll down to keyboard, once again, if you scroll all the way down now instead of going to emoji, you can type in shortcuts like OMW, which stands for on my way, it'll automatically type that in your text messages. Now this is in Apple Maps, which they just released for iOS 6 and the iPhone 5. Now in the bottom left hand corner you'll see a little 3D option, but a lot of people don't really know how to use this 3D option properly. So what you're going to want to do is click that little uh, page flip and then hit satellite, which will create a satellite landscape of that area. And then once you've found that area, this is just the Transamerican Pyramid in San Francisco. Once you've found that area, generally with a lot of buildings, just go ahead and tap the little building icon in the bottom left hand corner next to the location. And then that'll create a 3D landscape of that area. It's very, very cool. And I definitely recommend checking it out as you can rotate up and down. You can rotate side to side, as you can see here. Now, if you're in a web page or a text message and you scroll down all the way, just hit the status bar to quickly go to the very top of the page. There's also a brand new option in settings called Do Not Disturb. This will basically allow you to browse data without any incoming calls or text messages and is very useful if you're in a meeting or something similar. Next, if you double tap the home button and go into multitasking and scroll to the left, you can lock the portrait animation. So when you turn the phone to the left in a web page, it will not rotate, it will stay up and down. This is very useful if you're trying to read a web page and you don't want it to flip like that. Also, if you go to the very far left, you can control the volume and airplay, you can control that as well. While we're talking about landscape and portrait mode, if you're in Safari and you rotate it to the landscape mode, in the bottom right hand corner you can click that and view Safari in full screen, which is very, very nice, very clean, and I definitely like it a lot better. Now last but not least, you can also add bookmarks to your home screen from web pages by simply clicking that center icon and then clicking add to home screen, where you can now name it and basically do whatever you want. Once you've hit done, hit add, and it will transfer to your home screen there. If you click on it, it'll open up in a web page. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.